morning. Welcome to uh, Rise and Shine Yoga. It's another Thursday morning and it's time for another class. My name is Jen and welcome, welcome. If you don't need anything today, of course, if you would like something there for a prop, feel free to grab it, but there's nothing we absolutely need today. So um, I'm just gonna grab a block and sit down like normal, but we're gonna spend a couple minutes just working on our breath. <clears throat> nice and cozy and comfortable. Waking up nice and slow or going to sleep nice and slow or just taking a little afternoon break. Taking big deep breaths in and big deep breaths out. If you can go in through the nose and out through the mouth, that's great. I know that not that doesn't happen all the time if you can't have access to both your nose and your mouth, but if you can, Closing your eyes slightly, looking towards the ground nice and soft. And really let that chin just hang down in front, nice and, nice and relaxed, stretch up the back of the neck. Say we're really gonna work work on length, and that's the that's the idea. Length on the back of that neck. And then turn a little bit to the side. Your chin is still down, but it's facing the ground still kind of at a diagonal so I'm stretching the side of my neck and the other way And come back to the center. If you have the ability to move your arms in big circles, please do so. If you don't have the ability, then just do little circles or move from the wrist. We're all going to move from the wrist in a minute, but if you're a little tight on space, and let's go the other way. Other direction. And then move around the wrist. Grab one arm, bring it behind. Sit up nice and tall while we're doing this, but just behind us on so my hands, right? Right there. Such just easing into this practice nice and simple today. And then reach for the shoulder blade. Out. 
release. Let's do some facial stretching. So you're gonna make your mouth as big as you possibly can, like you're breathing fire. You do that five times. Ready? Open up. Relax for one. And then relax for two. Bring those legs out in front of you, wherever you like. <clears throat> legs out in front. I'm still sitting in my block, that's okay. <clears throat> Toes are pointing up, and I'm just going a little back and forth. A little tiny bounces on my thighs on the outsides of my legs, and on the insides of my legs. And pointing and flexing those feet. And all the movement going so we can lengthen that thing. Okay, so we're gonna lay all the way down on our back and have the ability to stretch those arms all the way all of our head. So we're doing a big full body stretch. Point those toes. Grab your right arm, pull it over, and take your right leg and cross it over your left. Big side body stretch. Lengthen. And release, switch out other side. Lengthen. And release, grab those knees. And we're going to rock and roll five times. So you're going to rock. For five, for four, for three, two, and then sit on up for that last one. We're going to tuck those toes, or feet behind underneath us, and we're going to roll all the way up. Standing up nice and tall. All right, bring those arms all the way up above the head and drop them to one side. Come on, and drop them to the other side. I'd like you to just go back and forth like you're a tree in the wind. And then drop one arm, and just like keep going all the way over. And the other way, all the way over. Come again and bring that leg over, just like we were doing when we were laying down. And switch it out. And again, release. Come to top. Fix your pants if you need to. And then come to mountain. It's chilly down here this morning. <sighs> Trying to wait to put my socks on, but my toes are just so cold. I bring those hands in front and sit back slightly. Come on up, bring those arms around and through. Come up 
and kneel back down, or kneel back down, squat back down, sorry. Come on up. One more time. And come down. This time, a little twist to the center, a little twist. And center, drop those hands, let the upper body hang. And then rolling up nice and slow. Big shoulder roll. Okay, turning sideways. Let's bring those arms back up and swan dive down, flat back, bend those knees, hands on the ground, one foot back, the other foot back, and push yourself into down dog. Hello, feet as need be. And then find some stillness. Drop the right knee. Bend the left knee, bring it in, but keep that foot on the ground. And curl into that knee, bringing that knee to the nose as close as you can. Release, kick it back. And then bring it forward, foot on the ground. Rolling it up. Arms down, shoulders back. Nice and tall. Take one arm up and lead it on over. Come back. Other arm up and over. One side's going to be a lot easier than the other. back to the center. Straighten that leg, toes up, walk the hands down. And release. Bring that foot back to tabletop. All right, so the left knee is on the ground. Let's bring that right knee up, right foot on the ground, bring that knee to nose. And then kick that leg back, relax there for a second. And then bring that foot all the way in front. Roll on up, shoulders back. Bring one arm up and over. And release. Other side, up and over. And release. Toes up, hamstring stretch. And then release. Come back through tabletop. Let's do a couple cows and cats here. At your own pace. And then come to neutral and shake those hips a little side to side. Let's sit back on those heels. Spinal twist. Other side. Spinal twist. Come back to the center, back to down dog. Tuck those toes under, 
Take your time. I'm going to take five slow breaths here. And then walk those feet in and roll it on up. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to take one foot in front and one foot in back, both sets of feet facing forward. Hands on the hips. Lean forward a bit. You can have the back heel lifted. One arm up and over. And release. Other arm up and over. Release, straighten that front leg and walk those hands down as far as you're able to go with a flat back. And roll it on up. And let's switch it out. Other side. Let's bend that front knee. Arm open over. And back to center, straighten that leg, roll down. And come on up. Bring those feet in, <sighs> nice and tall. Bring those arms up, back bend. And bring those arms down in front. Let those hands hang. And come on up. All right, let's come sideways on our mat and point those toes out. Bring those arms out. We're just going to do little circles. Other way. Bring those arms down. Lean in one way. Back to the center. Lean the other way. Back to the center. Now we're just going to go left and right nice and fluid. You could have your hands down. You could have your hands on the hips. Or you can have my hands out. 
you feel the need to bring your legs a little further apart, please do so. And then we're going to slowly, if your arms are up, we're just going to circle them around. And then bring our arms straight. The foot in front over here is faced forward. And we're just going to pivot that back leg. And we're going to lean in. If your arms get tired, you can take them down. Otherwise, arms are up. And then we're going to lean back. And forward. Lean back. And forward. Lean back. And forward and hold. Bring those arms down. Switch it out. Other side. <sighs> Lean on in. Back and forward. Back and forward. down come back in point those toes in if you need to come in a little bit more that's fine so we're kind of doing this as compared to here we're just going to lean on in and come on up and lean on in and come on up and lean on in and come on up then bring those heels in. Lean on in. And up. And lean on in. And up. Lean on in. And up. All right, bring those feet a little bit wider now. Both feet pointed up. And let's just lean down towards one ankle, go on up, and go on the other way. There's a lot of lengthening in this like pendulum style. If having your hands down at the side feels okay and you want to add on, next time bring one arm up. And One more each side. Beautiful. Now bring the back foot in, the front foot forward. Bring those arms out and let's lean on in. And come on up. Lean on in. And coming up, two more. And lean in. And up. Lean in. And up. Other side. In. Up. In. In, up, let's do one more. In, and up. Drop those arms down, heel toe those feet in, and find yourself somewhere where you can balance. We're gonna do some kickbacks on the standing leg. So we're gonna hold on for balance. I'm going to bend the stabilizing leg a little bit. I'm not gonna lock it out. I mean, I'm not going to be in a, in a full squat, but I'm not locking that leg out. So I have a little bit of a bend. And then I'm going to bend the other leg and just kick back in and in. 
So it's got to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same thing, other side. It's coming up nice and tall. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release. Now, we're going to do that again. This time, if you want to come into a little bit more of a squat, so you're going to be more here, kicking back, it's going to make it harder we're going to get that variation in. So if you don't want to do it, just do like we did before with the straighter leg. If you want to add in more, you can hold on as much as you need to for stability, or you can just put your fingertips there for balance. Your choice. All right, let's add that bend if we're going to. Take it back for one, two, three, four, going to go and do little rainbows. So we're going to stand up nice and tall. We're going to hold on for balance. And we're going to go out, around, and in. So we're going to do the first round with straight legs. And then we're going to do that second round with a little bit into a little bit of the squats. So you decide which one do you want to do. Do you want to do all the way straight or do you want to do a little bit of a bend? All right, we're all going to fix straight first. We're going to hold on as little as we need to or as much as we need to. Big, huge circles. So usually we do kind of these little, little ones in the middle. We're doing big ones today, okay? Other side, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. those knees if you want to. <clears throat> A little squat, making it harder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Side, squat it 
shake it on out. Let's head back down to the ground. Bring those arms up, back bend. And come on down. Hands to the ground. Bring one foot back. Bring the other foot back. Drop those knees. And bring that forehead to the mat. Poppy pose. Feel more breath. And roll it on up. And you can lay that on your back. And if you want to put on your socks, you can do that now because we are going to be on the ground for a little bit. <clears throat> And we're balancing, just potentially sliding around with stocking feet. So feel free to put them on. And then we're laying back on our backs. All right, so we're going to bicycle those feet. We're going to do them one at a time. So one leg is straight, one leg is bent. So let's bicycle, big circle. Switch direction. And let's switch legs. So bicycle one way. All right, bring those feet down. Bring those hands behind your head. Let's start out with little rainbow crunches. So you're gonna to be towards one side of the mat, lift up and come down towards the other. Lift up and come down towards the other. Supporting the head and neck. Do one more each side. So up and over. And up and over. All right, are we ready to add in some of those bicycles with those crunches? So we're going to bring those legs around like we did before. So it's around and around. Like you're pedaling a bike. You were not going in and out. We're pedaling, so let's just do those legs first. And switch direction. And bring those legs down. Well, let's do just the upper body. Let's come up and down, so you can either just come up and down, or you can come up and twist, and down, and up and twist, and down, whatever 
you would prefer and when you're ready if you would like you can add in the legs and reverse Two more, and come down nice and slow. Drop those knees to one side. And drop those knees to the other side. Bring those knees to the middle and bring those arms all the way out to the side. <sighs> Let's bring those arms in. One goes up at a diagonal, one comes down at a diagonal. And then come back in. Other side, switch it out. side here and here bring those palms face the ceiling Just big stretch shoulders back and down bring those arms overhead Twist those hands, palms are down. Bring them up, shoulders back and down. Bring those arms up above the head. Swing a little bit one way. And then a little bit the other way. back to the center grab behind those legs let's rock three times and sit up go for one for two for three have a seat we're just going to do some eagle arms really quick and then we will go into our shikasana so arms out in front <clears throat> Loop one under, doesn't matter which one. Decide where do you want those palms. And then let's lift those elbows up, shoulders down. And release. Other side, other arm underneath. Decide where you want the hand. And lift. And release. One more each side. Lift those arms. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. And switch. And lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 
nice and comfy and cozy. <sighs> and of course, if there's a different position you would rather be in, as long as you're nice and relaxed and inviting relaxation and breath in. Fulfilling your fingers and your toes, take your hand and bring it to the side of your head and just ever so slightly bring that ear toward the shoulder. We've done this many times sitting up, we're doing this laying down today. to your side, bring those knees in if it makes it easier to turn. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then nice and slow, coming on up to a seated position, opening your eyes and having a wonderful morning, a wonderful afternoon, or a great evening. Have a great day, whatever your day looks like, and I'll see you later.